Today I will be discussing how to access OEM Diagnostics, also known as CDMS, for on-ground troubleshooting. It is recommended having an external power supply when using CDMS for troubleshooting. CDMS is only viewable when the aircraft is on the ground. The CDMS card must be installed in the upper slot of the MFD prior to selecting aircraft power and avionics power on. After the display is powered and past the splash screen, use the outer FMS knob on the FMS MFD controller to select the AUX page on the MFD. Turn the inner FMS knob to select the OEM Diagnostics page. OEM Diagnostics is the last page in the AUX group. If you do not see OEM Diagnostics as the last page, your upper SD card is not installed. The data is missing from the card or the MFD is unable to read the SD card. If the data is missing, please visit CessnaSupport.com to download the CDMS software applicable for your aircraft serial number. Push the inner FMS knob to activate the cursor for the ATA chapter selection. The cursor will be flashing indicating an ATA chapter can be selected. From the index box, turn the inner FMS knob to get the cursor to the applicable ATA chapter. Push the enter button on the FMS MFD controller to select the applicable ATA chapter. Note, once an ATA chapter is selected, the first diagnostic pages for that system will be displayed. Turn the outer FMS knob to move the cursor to the main group and subgroup menus to select the other diagnostic screens in the same ATA chapter system. If you have any questions, please contact Team Mustang at 316-517-5490 or by email at teammustang at txt.com. AV.com.